All right, welcome guys. I don't usually do videos like this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a video on this uh, a furry uh, power station. I bought it about, I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago it came in. I've used it for camping and uh, just out with buddies and stuff. And this thing uh, did everything that I pushed it to. But we're gonna test some home appliances like uh, the toaster. Cook a nice bagel on there. And we're trying this coffee machine uh, because this is usually what I take for camping. So we'll see how much wattage it takes uh, on the Afery. And this thing is a beast, guys. I'll put the link in the description on Amazon where I bought it. Um, go ahead and power it on. This thing has the DC port uh, right in here, 12 volt. Plug in your whatever, car or whatever, uh, two 12 volt 3As over here. Um, at the bottom, it's a, I believe that's the connector for um, solar panels, if I'm not mistaken, or if it's on this side. One or the other, it looks like it's both the same, but here's to charge it, uh, here's another cord over here. I think that's for the wireless charging, just like this one. Um, you got two uh, quick charge 3.0s on here, and you got, look at this, you got four USB-Cs on this. So a power delivery of 20 watts, uh, there's three of them, and then you got a power delivery of 100 watts on there. And to power it on, you just click the USB, and it'll give you a little logo right there of uh, that notifying you that your USBs are on. Uh, you have an emergency light here for camping, you got the SOS and uh, whatever. So it's pretty nice to have. Oops, drop the coffee mug. And on this side, you have your plugs. So you have all ground plugs on there, four of them. So it's perfect. And that's more than enough. So let's go ahead and plug in the coffee machine. I'm not going to use this right away, but actually, you know what? We'll do. We'll do two. Uh, we'll do one at a time, and then we'll do two at a time. See how much wattage it pulls out. So we'll just get our toaster, any regular toaster, guys. Um, this is the name brand is actually kind of just worn off there, but uh, any toaster will do, guys. We'll go ahead and plug this in at the bottom. And sorry about the noises, guys. I have some birds in the house, so. Don't mind that. So to power it on, just there's a button right here. Go ahead and click that, and it's going to notify you on your power station that um, you got your plugs on. So we're at 96%. It's not fully charged, but it's saying that we're we have 84 hours to go. Output is zero because nothing is on at the moment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our bagel, and I'm thinking this is just going to tear it apart. Like this is. This power station is just unbelievable, so powerful. I believe it has an output of 2,400 watts, so more than enough, guys, to power all your appliances for camping or whatever. Um, so, no doubt about it, let's get to it. Um, let's grab, I am gonna actually make a coffee, so I should probably put my phone on a little gimbal or something. Uh, should I do that? Whatever, I'll just hold it. So we'll grab our bagels. Here we go. We'll grab a tray to so we don't make a mess. Okay, we got a tray, some bagels, we got our coffee, and our coffee machine. So we'll go ahead and just do that real quick. Let me put you guys down so I can actually make the coffee. And I hope this doesn't fall. There we go, that's good enough. All right, let's go ahead and just make a coffee. We already have some uh, leftover grinds in the coffee thing, so let's just clean it up real quick. So if you guys wanna buy this, again, it's gonna be in the link in the description. And this is just an awesome power station. I used to have, um, sorry guys, it's at the sink here, but, um, I used to have the EcoFlow River uh, Pro, I think it was. And I gave that to my buddy because I was gonna buy a new one anyway. 
more powerful, but that River Pro was amazing. Like I got it for like 800 bucks and it did almost everything that I pushed it to. It did cut off, I think once because I had a power outage and I was kind of pushing it over the limits, but uh, this, that's why I up upgraded and uh, got a more powerful one. But that River Pro was awesome. So my buddy has it now, he bought it off me and uh, that's it got this one so we're gonna go ahead and fill this up and we're gonna make our coffee there we go just Folgers coffee guys just simple cheap little coffee machine for camping it does the job I have my bigger one I got the uh, Breville over here but uh, we're not gonna do that uh, we'll just do this little camping one because this is what I'll be taking for camping so let's go ahead and fill water up so this might be a bit of a long video guys but it's going to be showing you guys um, how everything works you know I'm not going to be skipping anything I hope I don't spill any water here this cup isn't that great for putting water in but we will see we'll just fill the water to the top here There we go. All right, we got our water in. We got our coffee to go. All we got to do is press the on position, and we'll do our coffee first. So I'm going to grab you guys again so you're not... Whoops, the focus. My bad, guys, if the focus was crappy there. Um, so we'll get the coffee going, and we'll see how much output this baby takes. Let's get to it. Power it on. It's on, and it's shooting out at the moment 673 watts. So that's pretty good. For a coffee machine, I can already tell it's doing the job. This baby goes up to 1200, uh, sorry, 2400 output watts. So this is nothing to it, 600 watts. So we should see the coffee being made here in just a second. And while that's doing that, we'll make our bagel. Because we haven't had breakfast yet, all we had was a coffee. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Uh, grab our bagel. I think, hopefully it's already pre-cut. Should be, yep, look at that. Don't even have to cut it. Put it in the toaster. And we'll go ahead and run that. And it's only, it's shooting out 1,200. That's pretty good. I thought this would have shot out a hell of a lot more. This is only shooting out, uh, actually almost the same as the coffee machine, 600 watts. So that's pretty good. That is more than enough. And I feel it already getting nice and hot. The coffee is brewing, as you guys can see. So this is just doing a fantastic job. It says you have 41 minutes, but this is going to be done in like... Uh, five minutes this is probably two minutes and that in like five minutes so by the time this is uh, done you'll still have a lot of power so we'll go ahead and get our dish and just to put our bagel on go so again this thing is just a beast guys you throw anything at it it should run it no problem when the power outage usually goes out uh, up north where I am uh, I usually just plug it into the Wi-Fi router and I got Wi-Fi for a couple days if the power is even out. So you can run the coffee machine, toaster, uh, the blender, blender too, so don't worry. Blenders are a lot of wattage. I think blenders go up to like 900 to 1000 watts because that blade is just spinning so quick. So don't have to worry about that. This thing just is a beast, guys. No complaints whatsoever. Um, it has a little storage compartment at the top here. If you want to put whatever, I got my uh, adapter for the uh, solar panels. It comes with it comes with that wire. Uh, instructions, just in case I need to read anything, I just keep it in there. And it does come with a waterproof case, guys. A little. Um, if it rains, this thing is pretty waterproof as is, but it comes with a cover. So if it downpours, at least you have a bit of protection on it. Um, anything in the back, if you're wondering, nothing. It's just telling you the 
specs. So here we go. If you guys want to pause it and just check it out, it says 1200 watts, but it actually shoots out 2400 peak. So absolute beast. Um, this is overload protection it has. And again, AC input for charging. And this is for your um, solar panels. So coffee is just about done. And bagel should be just about done too. Nice and hot. See that thing steaming? Look at that, we got our coffee, guys. And it's still shooting only 12,202 watts at 89%. And we're just about done. So we'll go ahead and just turn the coffee machine off and now we'll see. Oh, look at that. Toaster just finished. Look at that, it just finished. Everything finished and we're at 88%. Only took about 5% maybe. 5, 6% and we still got, that's just still climbing. So look at that guys, that's it. It cooked our bagel nice and toasty. It got our coffee done, no complaints. Um, if you guys want me to test more home appliances out on this baby, let me know in the comments down below. But this was just a quick video to show you on the Afri uh, power station. Uh, the, tw what was it, 1200 watt? Yeah, but uh, 2400 watt peak output so hope you guys did enjoy go ahead and like the video if you did and uh, comment down below if you want more videos like this and uh, i'll see you in the next ciao guys